Alrighty, YouTube. I wanted to make a uh, quick video on my new bike here. This is the brand new Luna X2. So this is kind of the newest, greatest thing from uh, Luna Cycles. It's uh, their full suspension carbon mountain bike here. So uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit overall. So super good components, um, at least from what I was coming from. My last bike was a the Venton Adventure. It's a fat tire e-bike. So this thing is just next, next level. Way lighter, faster, nimble. I mean, it's incredible. Um, the only thing I've done to it is uh, I changed the grips to blue. <coughs> the stock grips are really nice. And uh, sorry, my voice is a little weird. Got a little bit of a cold, but um, changed out the pedals to these uh, cool blue pedals. Uh, lizard skin, but damn this bike, you guys. If you're on the fence about buying this and it's in your budget, just do it. Um, the motor, I've got the stock motor. So uh, they they offer it in two different configurations. So um, for $400, you can order what's called the uh, ludicrous mode of the M600 motor. And the ludicrous mode <coughs> has uh, 2000 watts of power. I mean, that is just ridiculous, right? Super cool, but for 400 bucks, I was like, Ugh, I don't know, this is already an expensive bike. Um, this was 4,200. Also, I was kind of worried about having all that, that torque, you'd just be uh, problems with the drivetrain, you know, snapping chains or, uh, you know, maybe the gears inside. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go with, uh, save some money, go with the stock configuration. And really it's not lacking on power. You put in pedal assist five and this thing is like a rocket ship. So super fun. The uh, torque sensing is incredible. My last bike was a cadence sensor, and this thing, I mean, it's what you want. It feels like you just have robot legs. It just gets up and goes. A lot of guys, um, I guess in the X1, it had a steel gear in this M600 motor. Uh, people complained it was kind of loud. This one, no, it's quiet. So this one comes with the, it's called it a peak gear. It's basically a plastic gear, um, but it's their second generation of it. They claim it's a lot stronger than the first generation because a lot of guys were having issues with the plastic gear, uh, I guess, stripping out. And a lot of those guys did have the Luda mode. So it's a lot of torque going to a plastic gear, right? Um, but this one, it comes with a plastic gear. The bike is near silent, you guys. You can hardly hear it. And um, I've got about 23 miles on it right now. So yeah, I mean, I just can't say enough good things about this bike the suspension the geometry uh this thing is just a rocket ship it, it's like <clears throat> the difference between my eventon and this the best way i can describe it for any dirt bike riders out there because that's what i you know i grew up on dirt bikes the eventon is a cool bike fat tire e-bike it's like a trail dirt bike uh maybe like a crf 230 it's a great bike it can do everything you want to do you know you'd have a blast super comfortable everything but this is more like a race bike. This is like a YZ450. I mean, it just get up and goes. You can hit jumps, you can hit big bumps, nothing. I don't think this bike has a limit. I mean, honestly, it's that good. It's a lot lighter. It's at about, uh, I think they say on the website, it's uh, 58 pounds, it's full carbon. Uh, so my old bike was like 73 pounds. So a lot different there. I mean, look at these gears. I mean, that shit is just badass. And uh, a lot of you guys might be asking, oh, what's the top speed? This bike, the pedal assist never really shuts off. It's not like it's uh, got a speed sensor. So really you run out of gear before you run out of power. And I got this thing up to 32 miles an hour on flat ground before it was just pedaling so much that if I wanna go faster, I have to change the gearing out. So, and then the uh, thumb throttle is the same way. I don't think there's a limit for the thumb throttle. Um, once I got up to 32, I was like, okay, let's see what happens when I hit the throttle. It didn't quite have the power to propel me at 32. It dropped down about 27 and it held there. Um, I think it just has a little bit less torque or whatever. So um, to protect the internals of that motor. But yeah, I mean, I just want to get out there and um, doing Tortolita Preserve here in Marana, Arizona. It's a beautiful day here in the desert. It's uh, December, we got some rain last night, so the dirt is just awesome. So yeah, I'm having a blast. You guys just uh, 
comment. I'll try to get back to you guys as best I can. And yeah, super great bike. I give Luna Cycles thumbs up. Cool. I'm going to get back out there.